Hello, my beautiful friends. I'm on a mission here to teach you how to use technology in your spiritual practice. But really, these tips kind of apply to any passion or hobby that you have. I could easily be doing this about hiking or bagpiping or um, toy trains, whatever, right? You could apply any of these uh, tricks and tips of using AI with whatever you're most interested in. So what I wanted to build is I wanted to create something that I could use for Advent. There are a lot of books out there that I could buy. There's lots of things I could download on my Kindle or on an Audible or whatever, but I kind of wanted to make something that's very customized to what I'm passionate about in Celtic spirituality. And you know, this, you know the uh, study of St. John the Apostle and St. Bridget and St. Columba and St. Patrick. But again, this these, these technical tips apply to whatever you're interested in. If you're interested in crocheting or whatever, whatever your passion is, follow your passion. So what I start off with always is this great tool that I found called Prompt Tesser. I love it. I use it. I have a pro license, although I don't have the super pro license, so it's offering me a, a little discount here. But what you do is you just write your prompt in the way that you would write it, however you would write it. And we know that with AI, there are three steps to AI. One is ask asking a good question, second is vetting the response, and then third is deciding where you're going to share the information, how you're going to share it with integrity. So those are the three, the three steps of AI. So um, you can type anything you want into this little this little bar. And if you have the free account of Prompt Tesser, you can analyze your prompts here. And there's a limit, I think, to how many you can do. With the pro license, you can do advanced analysis. And with the free account, you can do this once a day. Um, so you can see that I just typed, and I, I'm a terrible typist, so I just typed at random. But it crooks my spelling because that's the beauty of AI. Now, what I use with my, with my students is I... I use this tool and then it gives you the strengths of the prompt as you wrote it, areas for you to improve it so that you can improve your own prompt uh, writing skills. But the beautiful thing is that it creates a prompt for you. So you copy this and then you toss it into your AI of choice. I use Gemini because I have a pro account, but you could do this in ChatGPT, you could do this in Claude, Perplexity, any of the AI tools, right? So. I've copied it already and pasted it, and now I'm going to make sure that um, that I'm picking um, the right thing, which is um, fast all-around help or reasoning, math, and code. I want reasoning, math, and code for this, and then I hit submit, and it's going to think a little bit and cook. It's like the cooking channel. You know, that cooks everything, and I haven't done this before, so I have absolutely no idea what it's going to output for me. We'll see. Now, when I did this before, I used Copilot, but that does require that you have uh, a license for uh, Microsoft 365. Gemini is free. The free version is free for everybody. So you can do this in a free version of Gemini. I happen to have the pro account because uh, a little while back, Google was very generous to people in higher education. I'm not sure that exists anymore. So it's thinking. And it says, um, I've complete, I've created a single file, so it's writing the code for me. And while this little, little thing is spinning, we just kind of wait for it. And it, it's writing the code. Now, in the past, I would have had to hand write this code. And I had done that for quite a few faculty members, especially at my position at Union College in New Jersey. I worked with a psychology professor, and we built um, a Rogerian psychology app, which I know nothing about psychology. She was the content expert, and I just did you know, the fiddling around with code. And uh, this that project took an entire summer. This is going to take us five minutes, you know, in this video to do. So it's really amazing how the AI works. So we asked a good question. It's doing what we've asked it to do. But our job is going to be vetting the response. And again, this is about when I'm building something for, for me to use for Advent and for friends of mine that might want to share it, you'll be able to use it too. And um, But then we have to decide if the content is actually good. So that will be our next step. So while we wait for this to cook, you know, you want to have a, a sense in your head of what you want to use this kind of functionality for. What do you want it to do? How do you want to use it? And that's going to inform how you vet the responses and then how you share this tool with others. So 
Um, here it comes. All right, so here is, oh, it has a little lock. That, that's cool. I wasn't expecting that. Little locked doors. And then, um, and then a little journal. Because what I asked it to do is I wanted a different thing for each day. Um, and uh, it'll open the doors each day of Advent. I didn't ask for that, but that's so cool because I love Advent calendars, particularly the ones with chocolate inside. Uh, so that's really cool. And then I asked it for a way so that I could write in my journal so that I could take journal notes every day and that it would compile into one file that I could save as a Google Doc so that I wasn't having 24 different files, right? I didn't want a million files. I wanted everything sort of compiled in one file that I could reflect back on over the course of the year. So that is awesome. So, you know, now I think, well, what what am I what am I going to do with this? Like, how do I even test it? You know, can I can I preview it? You know, what happens when I click on it? Well, it won't let me in because it's not Advent yet. So how, how do I know this even works? So I don't know. So I'm going to just pause here for a minute and see if I can peek behind the engine to see if I can do anything with it. So I asked it if I could test it. I said, can I test it? And it said, sure. Right now, the app uses real dates, November 3rd, so all the doors would be locked until December 1st. So interesting, it doesn't take the dates of Advent. Um, it's just taking the month of December, the 1st through the 25th. Uh, that's okay. If I wanted it to be very specific to the dates of Advent, I, I should have mentioned that in the prompt. So again, refining that prompt to be exactly what you want it to be, but that's okay. So um, here it gave me, um, it, it says today is December 5th, so I can click on this door and December the Light of Hope. Oh, that's very nice. So it gives you a Bible quote. Advent begins in darkness, waiting for the light. Where do you see small glimmers of light in the darkness? And, oh, and it gives you a little prayer. That's really cool. So then I have my reflection, sample reflection here. Like I said, I'm a terrible typist. So I have my sample reflection, and then I can save my reflection. Very cool. So where does the reflection go? Where, let's see, let's see if I... Well, let's see if I click on reflection in my journal. Oh, yeah. So it's going to collect them in here. So this is a really, really cool, cool thing. I, I'm loving it. I think this is amazing. I'm going to use it. So I tinkered around. And then what eventually happened is that I realized I just asked it. I asked the AI, how do I share this with people? How do they get their own copy? And it said, ha ha. Yes. That is what this is meant for, but they have to have their own link. So you share it through the sharing function. The link will be in the video below so that you have your own copy of this Advent. Um, this Advent, like, it's not true Advent, but it, you know, December reflections, right? And you'll have your own with your own journal in your own code, and then you'll be able to share it if you want to. But I won't see your responses, and you won't see my responses because it's unique to you. So that was really cool. And then I thought what was really cool is that it said, um, you know, hey, you know, you asked me to do a testing version. It's still set to test. Do you want me to reset it so that it'll start on December 1st? And I was like, that is so cool that it updated it and it updated the code. And then I was able to share it. So then I went and I tested it in a different um, a different browser. I went over to my uh, Firefox and there it is. It's It's working. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I think that you could do, you know, you could make you could make uh, different instructional things for each day, like learn a new skill for cooking or whatever, whatever you're passionate about. I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not. So you can do you can work on any topic that you're interested in. This is so cool and pretty easy. And in 15 minutes, we did what it took me an entire summer to do. So I am wishing you all the very best in light and love. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.